Hey everyone, Ryan Bolton here, local mortgage expert, ryanbolton.com. Today I want to talk to those people that are looking to buy a home in 2023 and give you a couple of tips of where you should start. Number one, you should get pre-approved. This allows you to pull your credit report, review your situation right now on what you can do to purchase a home. Now, sometimes you might be ready right now. Maybe you've got your ducks in a row, your credit score is where it needs to be, your down payment's where it needs to be, but start with the pre-approval. Too many times people wait on this step, and it's so crucial to get started because many times we can help you get a better loan if we have a little more time. So get, get, get pre-approved. Start with that. We offer it for free. I don't know very many mortgage companies even charge for that. Even if it's months early, even if it's six months early, you're far better off to get started with that process early. The next step is to work on your credit. So after you have the pre-approval, there's always ways to improve your credit score. And most mortgage loans are based on 20 point tiers. So let's say you're a 679, you're at the top of that tier where a 680 gets you different programs, maybe cheaper mortgage insurance, maybe cheaper interest rates. So working on your credit can be crucial and usually it takes time. The credit works on typically 30 day cycle. So if you just had it reported for this month, you may have to wait 30 days before they even re-report to be able to see uh, improvements in your score. So part of my pre-approval is I go through the credit, show you what's on there and show you ways to improve the score while we're saving for a down payment or waiting for property to come on the market. But I'm telling you what, having just a little more time to work on the credit can pay huge dividends down the road. So don't wait until you're 30 days at the end of your lease. Don't wait till you have to have to buy a home. Give yourself some extra time. Work with a lender to be able to get your scores up as much as possible. Next, we review your budget for saving for a down payment. Now, there's 100% financing programs are out there, and they are really good. They're way better than they used to be. But having a little bit of down payment can open up different programs, maybe different rate and terms, and you're going to have down payment plus closing costs unless you build that into the sales price. So having that extra money opens up more options to where you're not limited to either 100% financing programs, which are more limited, or just have more flexibility when it comes to the mortgage insurance or closing costs, things like that. So part of that pre-approval again is to pull the credit and then review down payment options and give you a, a number to kind of shoot for. Maybe give you a little extra motivation to skip a few nights out or or get rid of some subscriptions or whatever to kind of free up that budget a little bit to where you can increase your savings. My last tip is to prioritize needs versus wants. When you're out looking at a house, there's a lot of times we have a lot of wants when it comes to a home. We want a pool or we want a fenced yard or these types of things, but you want to have what is an actual need versus what's an actual want. Maybe you have to have a certain bedroom count or you have to have a fenced yard if you have pets or, uh, or children or something, you want that fenced yard. Uh, or maybe it's something where you want a certain number of bathrooms. You want it, I, I mean, it's really important to kind of go through and say, okay, these are the things we really need. That way you get your list of homes kind of limited down to maybe those needs and then start looking at the wants. But really separate the two out. What's a need versus a wants? So I hope that was helpful. I hope that really gets you motivated to buy a home this year, to get started, to get pre-approved, start working on the credit. I, I can't tell you how many clients I've worked on if we just had a little more time, we could have probably got them a better loan or they wouldn't have been so rushed and so frantic trying to get the loan done. And a lot of clients are ready that day. We pull the pre-approval, we give them a letter, then go out and start shopping for a home this weekend. Other times, maybe it's six months down the road that we work on, on their credit or work on down payment or whatever it needs to be to get them where they need to go. So I love the opportunity to work with you. I do loans in Utah and Nevada. So check out my website, ryanbolton.com. There's a little scheduler on there that you can book an appointment in my office or over the phone. I also have a mobile app you can download to start doing mortgage calculations if you're in front of a home, that type of thing. But either way, I'd love to work with you. Love the chance to help you buy a home. This is an incredible time to buy a house. Check out my website, ryanbolton.com, and hope you have a wonderful day.